Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Pregame from the Pond, Madison Mallard Pregame Show. Derek Brizendine alongside Alec Dopp. And Alec, what a roll we're on right now. Yeah, absolutely, Derek. You just said it. Uh, seven straight wins, something that we've seen uh, only a few times in recent history for the Mallards. And going for eight tonight against Wisconsin Rapids, a good ball club coming in here. Um, it's been an incredible run. Two more wins last night in the doubleheader. Uh, both games, seven innings. But yeah, two wins, two convincing wins. I think that's the most impressive part, but uh, they're they're clicking on all cylinders right now. And two wins that were much needed. Actually, the last three wins were much needed against a struggling uh, Wisconsin Woodchuck team. But that's one of those ones that those are the hardest games to win. Yeah, sometimes the situation boils down to, you know, the Woodchucks are struggling and, uh, you know, they might be playing for nothing to lose. And that's a dangerous team, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, it's great that they came away with what was what can only be considered a decisive a victory on Sunday afternoon with the 20, 20 hits and 14 runs and then to come up last night to win 6-0 in the first game and then 2-1 uh, the guys really uh, put out and it was awesome to see. And you know those two wins against Kenosha those are big wins because those are the guys that are leading those are the ones that you really got to grind out but I think we've talked about it you know those wins against Wisconsin and other teams that are struggling it's it's really easy to dip down to their level sometimes and kind of play relaxed baseball and not play your game and that's when you get in trouble and I think that's why those wins are so big for the Mallards. Oh definitely and I think it all goes back to Donnie's approach with these guys. He's aggressive, uh, he doesn't let off the gas pedal you could say and he's, they play with a sense of urgency and we've seen that uh, throughout this season. I mean we had a tough stretch there in the middle of the season. A uh, couple, couple losing streaks, but I mean these guys know what their role is out there. They're aggressive at the plate. Uh, they're solid in the field, you, on the bases too. I mean, they do a little bit of everything, and I think that's extremely important. And it's all just a product of what Donnie brings as manager for these guys. And that pitching staff, that pitching staff's incredible, man. Yeah, and we we got, we were treated last night, especially Andrew Beckwith, who kind of struggled with in his first two starts for us from Coastal Carolina. Um, but last night he put together six innings, no runs allowed, three hits. Uh, he struck out probably three guys, three, four, three, four guys. And uh, yeah, he's he's definitely a prospect. And then Hever Bueno from Arizona State. He uh, he's got control issues, but he only he he did not walk a batter last night. And despite the seven strikeouts in, in four innings that he actually had, I think the no walks is the most impressive part for him because he has mid 90s fastball and he can just. You can just blow it by you sometimes. So it was great pitching in conclusion. And there Sunday we had Nate Hoffman on the mound and that guy is putting together one heck of a summer so far. It, it's not real flashy, nothing, you know, like Kalen's putting up big strikeout numbers and stuff like that. But he's putting together, he's 3-0 and right now. And I mean, it's just a quiet but deadly, deadly summer he's putting together. Definitely. And a returner from last year, Nate Hoffman, Middle Tennessee State. Uh, you can't say enough good things about what he's done so far this year. Um, you know, the command of the breaking ball is the, really a huge thing for him that he's shown so far this year that he did not have last year. Um, and that's been a thing Donnie has told me in the clubhouse. Uh, he's been really impressive and, I mean, just pounding the strike zone away. And I just, uh, it's it's impressive for Nate, obviously. So, And the bats, they're starting to click too. Those two new bats of Thoreau and Goldstein, those have really helped out. What... What's really changed here for those bats? Because they went through a slump there where they, they couldn't get those key hits, but now now they're starting to get them. You know, it, it goes down to your approach, and I think the guys may have been complacent uh, during that losing streak in the middle of the season. But, you know, guys like Logan Regner, who's now leading the team in batting average, I think he's at 341, which is incredible. He's almost got 100 at-bats. Um, he's They're aggressive at the top of the lineup with him and Gonsolin, and it – you know, it all goes back to just being, uh, staying within yourself and staying within your approach at the plate. And that's looking for strikes early in the count and trying to hit the, the dang ball as hard as you can, you could say. So, um, so yeah, it's been, it's been awesome to see from these guys. And Gonsolin now in that DH role, that's, that's a huge bat to have there. And to be able to still use him at DH, even though he's a pitcher, and then he can come in on the mound and throw, throw gas too. He's, he's really a complete player there that we really need. Yeah, definitely. And, I mean, this kid came in as an unknown pretty much to the, to the Northwoods League, and uh, he's put up monster numbers. I would think his draft stock in the coming years is, has risen uh, considerably in these, last, in these last few weeks for the Mallards. I mean, uh, he is a, you know, a spark plug at the top of the lineup with Regner, and I think, 
you know, those those two guys being disciplined at the plate and taking good hacks at pitches has really paid dividends for the Mallards so far. Now as we look forward to tonight, tonight, host the Rapids here and on the mound, what's going to be the key for the, the Mallards to keep this thing rolling? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think it's just, uh, you know, pounding the strike zone, uh, not not issuing too many walks or any walks if you can help it, but uh, and I think Weston we Weston Weetrick can uh, definitely benefit the Mallards uh, starting tonight with his third start of the season. He's got a sub two ERA, su sub one ERA actually so far in his first two starts, and he's a Madison College kid, um, and he's he's solid all around. He's got good command. He's got two two quality pitches, and I think uh, you know just staying aggressive in the zone, and you know uh, it's going to be important for these guys always. And then. You know, we've only got, what, a week left here in the first half of the season, and man, that South Division is clumped. It's a race for first. Oh, both divisions extremely talented, but uh, extremely skilled, extremely talented. Um, you know, it's it's been a roller coaster. Obviously, we had the winning streak, we had the losing streak, and now we're on this unprecedented roll <laughs> that we're kind of on right now. Um, it's it's going to be a wild one to uh, finish off the first half here, and I think we've got like a week left right now. so. Uh, it's it's gonna be exciting and then we got a couple new guys here coming in at the end of the week once the college world series ends what are those two guys gonna mean to the team yep uh, Charlie Cody he is not a starter for Virginia but he's part of uh, he's part of that that group that helped lead them to the college world series obviously a, an extremely talented Virginia club uh, he's got some versatility in the field and I think he's gonna really really grow from being able to play in the Northwoods League this summer and then um, an, an already already established star in Roll Coleman uh, he actually DHs he's five foot eight but he DHs he's a he, he swings at he swings at uh, good pitches and he gets on base and he's a threat to steal bases too but uh, yeah he impressed last night I think he had a couple base hits a couple RBIs so um, it's gonna be adding them to the mix is only gonna improve the Mallards uh, moving forward it's gonna be exciting to see how the first half of the season ends here. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the game and we'll see you back here Friday. <laughs>